Hello! Welcome back, everybody, to another fantastic session of Seas of Time, episode 2.7, session 40. Come a long way, and um, I really got to thank this wonderful cast of wonderful people playing this great game of ours. Yeah, and we're glad to have you along for another fantastic time. So, let's jump back into it, shall we? Uh, last time, our party has finally entered the uh, dreaded district that's known as Snake's Vice. A uh, worn, torn, um, uh, rubble-strewn, uh, desolate district that has been left uh, behind uh, for several years after the faded war. Uh, and now our party just has to go right into the belly of it to help out the Temple of Laka, who uh, some of our party members have found out are not just a uh, just a bunch of clergymen, but are in fact part of the resistance group, the Shellshockers, uh, that are hoping to retake the city in the name of the Republic. Um, so, with that task in mind, uh, the party uh, trudges on through this uh, dangerous uh, place uh, within Laka's shell. Uh, they encountered some zombies last session, which they um, aptly took care of. Um, but not before realizing uh, that uh, these zombies are being led by these um, fungal armored uh, leaders that when killing them sort of disabled their the intensity of the hordes themselves. <clears throat> and also, uh, just before the session, and we actually leveled up. I don't know if I said that last session, but yeah. Our party finally leveled up. See, I'm not a terrible DM. I do level them up every now and then. Just a few couple hundred sessions. Yeah. So, let's jump back into it, shall we? By the way, thank you for bringing back the good uh, character sheet. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I actually got Foundry to uh, work with the um, the patches because uh, Foundry recently updated. And if anybody knows mods, uh, Foundry does a lot of um, cool interactions with mods. But every time it updates, the mods have to catch up. And uh, thankfully no compatibility issues so wonderful I'm trying to get the music where i can hear it can anybody hear the music I yep. can't. yeah it's a bit loud yeah. it's a bit loud <laughs> there we go hold up Slow up, stop control. Still am I hearing anything on my end? Do I have Foundry muted? Let's see, volume mixer. Hmm. Okay, we're going to retry oh, that. Stop. Take 452, go. No. Please let me go home, my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh Everything's up. Hmm. Come on. Come on. I'm here now. Come to Papa. Work with me. Hmm. Let me play another song. Hmm. 
my immersion. <laughs> I mean, the audience can hear it. Yeah, yeah. but if the DM I can, can hear, hear it, it doesn't it. count. Okay. Yeah. I need to be immersed. Just kidding. <laughs> Timmy, sing for him. <laughs> A copyright. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm just going to listen to my Spotify. You don't always need music with D&D, but it sure does help. So, gets you right into the mood. So, party, you have just vanquished the zombie horde. Uh, the bodies are all strewn around you, uh, torn up into pieces, rubble laid on the ground where a, uh, another horde was before it collapsed on them. Um, you are now free to press on, sit and recover, or do whatever you wish. But the choice is yours. What do you like to do? Uh, what time of day is it right now? It is now five o'clock. Five eleven. So it's evening. Yes. Uh, Naru would probably suggest that we uh, get inside, or or at least like keep moving, so that we're not out in the streets when night falls. Lopa would uh, pipe up and like still like just shielding her eyes <laughs> um, like like this. <laughs> She's just like, um, we do need to go. Where, where are we supposed to be going? Does anybody know the direction of this building they want us to clear out? That's a good question. Um, I don't think. Did we ask? <laughs> I I oh, kind God. of figured that we would just clear out everything. Maybe we could ask around. Um, I don't know if that might be the best idea. Imagine someone walking up to you, hey. Where is this building I need to kill her out? <laughs> yes, where, where is your boss? I need to murder him. Cut his hand off. Well, I don't I, I suggest don't being blatantly well. audience, or obvious. Maybe they would appreciate it. <laughs> Does anybody have any means of communicating with the temple? Yes. Hey, Michael. Mm-hmm. When we were moving through here, did we see, like, any inhabitants at all? Uh, do an investigation. Hey. Uh, oh! Yeah, what they're everywhere. They're, they're all around They're me. children. <laughs> they're ancestors. I find, I find the Your tiny dog little, spot. The little gnomes living in the wall, and they're like, ah, we're going this way. They're over here. <laughs> sure how to kill them. I love a nat 20 roll. <laughs> uh, they were the actually ones that were like taking off the uh, hinges for that wall. It wasn't actually a little bit. I'm just like pushing. <laughs> we're never no, no. from her. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, you did not see anybody whatsoever. It was very much barren on the streets. I can contact them. Or do we want to contact the spa owner? Based on uh, not seeing anybody, uh, I think maybe we could keep moving until we do see someone. But pre preferably uh, living. So no on the contact? Oh, I mean, I that's, think, that's up to you. I think it might make sense to contact because... Yes, we want to clear out, but we also are very limited on supplies of clean air. Damn, this is a long shot, but 
could Lopa just try to think very, very hard to remember anything that the uh, uh, Tiefling mentioned <laughs> for general direction of where we're supposed to go. She's just uh, like, mm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you do know that you were already headed in the direction of the uh, the place, and it was only like a uh, couple more hours walk. But you do know you just had to head more southeast, and you would reach your destination. And it is a glass ceiling uh, structure. Lots of uh, equipment inside, like industrial equipment. Very big warehouse. It's um, flanked by a smaller, you know, uh, apartment and complexes and stuff like that. Okay. Um, she would, like, just, like, <laughs> just, like, while everybody's, like, talking, she's, like, <laughs> south. Gla glass building. I think that is what, I think that is what she mentioned. <laughs> I'm just like just blinking just rapidly like please get me out of the sun <laughs> I hope I am talking to my party and not to a brick wall <laughs> Kimmy You're just turns you around to the group <laughs> <laughs> thank you Kimmy I think uh, DM how tall are these buildings uh, they can go up to two to three stories Do you think it would be wise if we have someone go up and, and see if they can spot this building with the glass ceiling, glass roof? Uh, I would volunteer, but uh, I am impaired right now. <laughs> Kimmy turns her head towards Anaru. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sebastian. Yeah. Do you think 85 can um, lie a little bit and get a good bird's eye view? But they're pretty small, so it'd be harder to get tracked. I mean, it's possible. Hey, 85. 85 flies on your shoulder and looks at you with little green eyes. Uh, I need you to go look for a building. Answer, I have found one. It looks like where the lapel is. Damn it. I need to go find another building with a glass roof and possible signs of inhabitants. Um I can do this. And it starts flying up there. <laughs> Why don't we get off the roof off the road while he does that? Can I? Are we on like the street still? Mm -hmm. Yes. A as we're moving, can I look to see if I see any um, uh, any indications of thieves camp? Uh, yeah. I think even with your your crit, you do start to notice like uh, little patterns on the the uh, corners of these uh, complexes and they start to uh, paint a pathway. You know, kind I'll of like just... graffiti and little old stains of um, used materials. I would like to follow them as best as we can while trying to stick to the, the shadows and alleyways and not try to be like out on like the main thoroughfare. Okay. Uh, does the rest of the party follow? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Everybody roll stealth checks for me. Um, oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. I, gr I grab onto what I think is Kimmy's shirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Twelve. Um, eight. <laughs> Sixteen. Ten. <clears throat> Yay. <laughs> I'm just tripping over everything. 
Game, you really need to get rid of that, uh, those, uh, installments. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Sebastian, since it was a tie, I'm gonna need you to roll another stealth check for me. What? Oh my god. <laughs> it was a tie. <laughs> a ten. <laughs> and as you're making the last corner on the sign, you actually uh, read that corner sign left by in Thieves' Cant, and it basically spells out in Thieves' Cant, a full gym. And you turn around, and there is an entire nest of zombies just crowded there, waiting for you. And what an asshole! Is it like tagged with like like someone's like name? It does. Yeah. It does. Whoever it is, I'm I'm burning those initials <laughs> into my brain. <laughs> and when we get to Snake's Pit, I'm gonna be like, "Is it? Are you JW?" And if it is, I'm just like, stop, 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 Wentworth? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put up those signs. Wasn't that pretty funny? <laughs> Why am I bleeding? <laughs> All right, so you see a horde of zombies uh, going over at uh, at least over 12 counts. Do you fight them? Do you run? What do you do? Are yep. we cornered? Like, are we in a like a dead end alley? No. No, you just basically made a turn, but uh, your a uh, few of your friends have made it a little bit loud, and they have noticed you, and they <laughs> are moseying their way over, and they're starting to pick up speed. So you must act now. You can fling yourselves into a house, barricade yourselves, or you can try to run and try to outpace these zombies, or you could fight them for all that XP that we totally do in this game. It's a good thing you can't see right now, Lilipa. Mm -hmm. I will not ask why. <laughs> Lilipa just hears <laughs> just over just dozens of them. Where's the closest door to us, Michael? Just right next to you. Like, these houses are pretty compacted. Like, probably like 15 foot space between them. And they're just kind of all smack dab in the middle. I'm gonna knock Maris, I'm gonna Maris, can, Maris, can you still freeze water? Ooh, that's a good point, then. I, um, I'll tap the, I'll tap the, uh, the staff in the ground, and a wall of ice. Yeah, I'll play off of that. Wall of ice in front of where the zombies are coming. Okay. So, what do you guys go? You go to a house or you run backwards? into the house uh yeah room. let's yeah let's uh let's see if we can like push forward so if if there's a exit that we can take like a back door of the house to get us into like a different alley or something okay um so, <laughs> uh, so mayor since you're trying to break into the house i need mm -hmm. you to roll an athletics check for me what is, oh, the, no. is the door is the door locked it's barricaded on the outside oh. can we see inside the house Dark. Jesus Christ! Uh, eight. I rolled a two, guys. <laughs> I like. I want that. The I have a plus six. I rolled a two. All right. Does anybody want to step in? I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> if if Anaru, use your hand. Um, <laughs> give me some. Is, oh, let me is see. every if Anaru is can see inside the house at all? Um, I'm going to summon my echo inside the house to unlock or or do something to the door. Mm. You can do a perception check. Because it's very dark. Okay. Very gloomy. Uh, the glass, or the uh, wall of ice, Fourteen. it gets shattered through. The hands just kind of reaching through. You can see, like, the face of the zombie just snapping. Uh, 14. 14. You, you get your guy in. And he opens it up. However, you're kind of opening it up. And then the boards are still there. So somebody just okay. smash it. I feel like we need intense music. Right tell, now. tell me which. <laughs> tell me which direction to run. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I like get behind Lopa and direct them directly in front of the door and say, "Run, <laughs> <laughs> run, Lopa, <Lollipop>, run!" <laughs> All right, Lopa, do an athletic check, Lopa. Should be easy. <laughs> Nineteen. 
Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's 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 go. let us go uh, cast, oh, it's still a battle map, but I'm going to cast Minor Illusion and make it look like the door is boarded up. Okay. Uh, actually. One second, please. Or even better, I'm going to make it look like there's not even a door there. Wait, it's a door, right? <laughs> Zombies. Door? Because <laughs> I could also do a thing with the door a thing that i haven't ever done oh my god this is this is ah uh, yes do it bitch do it and i'll still make it look like there's not a door there <laughs> just in case you know i just don't mm -hmm. trust zombies breaking through ice you know okay so kimmy comes in cast her spell does the motions I can see a thin, a wavy, magical aura kind of place itself along the door. Hey, my here, uh... Uh, before we move, I want to do, do a thing. Thing. Like... He's going to make thing. a door. Do I I'm going to lock the door. I'm going to make the door. <laughs> do I feel in anything inside the house? Uh, you don't, but as you look around the house, you can see beyond the walls that it is, you're surrounded. And they are starting to pile up. Is there and a little, way? it's not just like, and, and this is what Mara sees, like, through his eyes. You can see, uh, like, the, the dark silhouettes of these corpses, but in the middle of them, they have, like, a little fire that's lit. And it, like, constantly kind of sparks and tries to uh, fling itself out, but it's trapped, and um, you can almost hear faint whispers uh, coming from those little fires, and they're all just kind of coalescing uh, all around you. Okay, um, like completely are, surrounding the house. We are we are in deep shit. Um, we need to get off the first level. Shut up. Let's see if we can hop roofs because they are everywhere outside this building. Up, up, and away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so up the stairs you go. Uh, you come up to the second floor. Uh, you can see that it's um, that there is quite a few corpses there. Uh, as you kind of go into this house, you can see that's abandoned. It hasn't been touched in maybe years. But as you come up to the final uh, step, uh, you can see that there was a, a battle that happened here. Like, in between the doors, inside the rooms, there are skeletons of different sizes and uh, having different armor attached to them. And uh, Maris says you're taking the lead. Uh, you almost trip over you don't really trip over your monk, but you do know, you look down and you see um, uh, a very familiar mask. But this mask is uh, different. Um, but it still has the same makings of yours. It uh, uh, has a bear on it. Uh, uh, Marisol, like, it kind of like freezes mid-step. And stares down at it for a few seconds and picks it up and puts it in its, his satchel. And it keeps going. Is that is that one of yours? It seems one it, it seems like the war is still the remnants of the war is still here in our room. Well, we we better keep moving or we Ourselves will be relics of the past. I'm nodding my head and then just keep going. All right. So you guys uh, finally go. Uh, you're on the second floor. Uh, you could try to look for an addict. So within a timely manner, everybody do perceptions. Is the house pretty dark, Michael? 
Yeah. Extremely. I don't take disadvantage. <laughs> I can <Yeah>. see again. <laughs> 13. <laughs> yeah, Lord, I can see again. <laughs> 17. May 14. I roll investigation instead of perception? Oh boy. <laughs> too late. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, oh my no. god. The nat ones are out tonight. <laughs> They're out for blood. For this shit. <laughs> right. Let's get them out of the way, okay? Yeah. Oh look, a 13. <laughs> no well, look, way. Your eyes are back to normal. You open them up expecting the sun to blast you, but in this dark uh, just the old uh, <laughs> second floor. It, it adjusts quite nicely. And you spot the uh, addict right above your head. <laughs> just, just jump up and grab the little cord, go. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding on like the little ball at the end of the rope. Yep. <laughs> it, it bonks both Maris and Sebastian's head. That's why they got in that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. And the rest of y'all follow up the addict. And uh, you, you know, you're in the attic. You can see that there are um, like a little group of skeletons, a little small skeleton. A few people just kind of clutch together. And then the window, you can see like the beam of light. And um, you can see next to that window, too, there is a um, like a belt that's just kind of sitting there next to these kind of crates. And, um, yeah, you can see the light. Uh, it's kind of got the afternoon kind of glow, you know, orangey. The sun is setting. What do you guys do? You said there's a window? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go see if there is roof access from the window. Uh, you can see that there are those little, um, like, ledges, like, outside the window. And that you could like hop onto and then like jump your way up on the uh, rooftop. I will scrabble up onto the roof. Okay. So <laughs> Miyoko shatters the window, pops through, and starts climbing up the rooftop. And Miyoko, you could see uh, down below just like more of them starting to coalesce. Oh. Point to position. And you How see is this one. You see one in particular that sticks out because this one isn't a normal size one. This is a giant. So. Like how giant? Like giant size. Like well over 10 foot tall. And he's just carrying the oh. giant club. Hey guys, uh, we got the, uh, a big one out there. As in, I don't think the house will survive. Well, I guess we're following you. <laughs> All right, everybody climbs up. You can see that the 15-foot gap uh, between you and the next roof, uh, the rooftop. What do you guys do? Oh, Anaru, can you cast more water? I can, and he will use Wall of Water. Uh, you know, I'll use the staff again. Where is my staff? Uh, to make like an ice bridge, Michael. Awesome. Nice, nice building. Okay, Liddy. I want you all, as you're doing it, to roll stealth checks once again. Because there's a big giant. Oh my god. Four and at once. <laughs> That's a 12. Do 14. we have any way to make me quieter? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no oh, time. <laughs> no time. 16. <laughs> hey, 18. That disadvantage. See, you don't need it. <laughs> Ooh. One or two. All right. So you guys jump across. Or not, not really jump. You slide. Uh, smoothly. And uh, across to the second rooftop. Uh, Lofa, you're kind of blinded again, but the sun is setting. You can see that um, if you wait it out, the sun will go away for a time. But the giant makes its way towards this building. And um, the last person, Kimmy, you look down and you can see that these uh, the fungal crown uh, zombies are like 
slowly reaching their hands and pointing towards the house. And the giant just like... Ugh. And then like, starts swinging this club against the uh, the house you were previously in. Just smashing into it. You can see the house start to shake. But uh, you're on the rooftop of the other one. Safe and sound. Maybe we should get as far away from there as possible. Yeah, we should just keep running. <laughs> okay. So, with the help of uh, Shape Water making little bridges, you start to cross over. And uh, about 15 minutes pass, you leaving the uh, horde behind you. When you finally do uh, come across the building you were looking for. Um, it's still within those kind of cramped uh, little uh, pathways walkways in between all these complexes but you could see it it stands above the rest about four stories tall and it has that glass roof that you could see through and you can see the brass um industrial equipment uh kind of shining off the the little bit of sun that's left um and um as you look down you could see outside of this uh building that there is a uh that it's an opening, like somebody kind of like crashed through it, and the rubble's all strewn across, and what's coming out of it is green, misty kind of fog. And that's where hey. we need to go? <laughs> where we need to go. It doesn't look like we have a choice. There's still zombies like coalescing around us, or did we skip them? You skipped them for now, yes. Well, uh, no reason waiting out here with those things. All right, how are you going to approach it? You're going to go through the roof. You're going to go drop down. Go at the entrance. Or you're going to try to look for another route. Somebody dribble me like a basketball, shoot me in. All the I time. got you. <laughs> Toss me. Kimmy was a ball player in college. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot about Kimmy you just don't know. You know, my dark past. You know, I was one of those frat girls. You know, just like all those the frat girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll toss Lilipa. I was just kind of kidding, but okay. Yeah, I'll accept it, though. A little bit of just like, oh, what? Uh, I'm not surprised at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can do it. Uh, do an athletics check. Pearl, bad, Lillipop. This is like fish. Oh, 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 oh. That is a three pointer <laughs> right there. A half court so, shot. <laughs> Anaru was taking lessons in land dwelling <laughs> depth and actually timed the shot perfectly. <laughs> and Lupa, you actually dodge all the glass and there's like a little opening where it's shattered and you just go right through. <laughs> no damage. And you like superhero <laughs> landing. <laughs> <laughs> but with no knees. <laughs> Anaru just says, it's only about a 12 foot jump. Wait. I understand feet now? <laughs> 12 snake. <laughs> you just hear Lola push out. I am okay. <laughs> well, now what do we do? Kimmy's just like, ooh, me next, me next. Uh, oh, okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, God. I trust you <laughs> with my <laughs> life. The famous left words. <laughs> just gust to win the rest, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, I can only use it once a day. Door. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I'll roll a new character. It's fine. <laughs> can I try to catch her? <laughs> and I would say, like, he throws you like up 
because it's like the building is higher than what it was. So like he kind of just like like half hits and like mm -hmm. Kimmy just falls off the roof mm -hmm. and falls down Why about two stories and takes nine bludgeoning. I, I thought you, you said he threw her straight up. But basically, that's what they did with Lil Puss. Except Lil Puss more, you know, can round up better, you know? It's kind of hard <laughs> to crunch up Kimmy, you know? <laughs> I'm fine, guys. That, I just have a broken leg. It's fine. <laughs> Wait, no, how much After damage she, No, how much damage did she take? Uh, mm -hmm. 2d6. No, 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 total. Uh, oh, nine. 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 Are we doing round up or round down if it's half? Round down. Round down? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you take four. Hell yeah. And then I look at a Naru. And I just shake my head. Because <laughs> I also have to take four. Uh, are you next? <laughs> I'm... I... I I am just going through the front door, and I'm just going to climb down the building. Okay, we're going to the place. <laughs> I wanted to parkour over the top. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> uh, let me put... Uh, Alright. I don't think I exist. I don't see myself anywhere on the map. <gasps> Look with your special eyes. I have no. I didn't throw you yet. You just ate. Yeah. What are you doing? You trying to be a center of attention? Hmm? We lost a little puss. <laughs> I can't see anything now. That's just like I can see fine. I I can see you guys. Uh, Lilipa, but then again, that's just dark vision. <laughs> summon if Lilipa, if you are there, summon a fairy with your name <laughs> hovering under it, and circle <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Let me just make another Maris token. Boop. Hello! Okay. Let me just kill the clone. Anybody that else can't see? No? Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Anaro, you tried to toss Kimmy, but she fell down. Um... Sorry! <laughs> is this is this the building, Michael, on this side? No, the building you're going into is the one directly in front of you. Okay. The giant one. Um, Kimmy, as you fall down, uh, and you kind of look, look straight in, and Lilipa too, both roll perception checks, but Lilipa roll it with advantage. I think I pulled 20. a muscle tossing Lilipa. A 15. Oh. Um, both of you do notice that there are these, um, large, um, kind of fungoid pods all just kind of nestled at the bottom of this uh, plant. Industrial little building. And you can see them kind of pulsate like with a like reddish glow. Every am, am I like on a ground floor or am I like on like a like on a like You're on, on a top. metal grate that's like kind of like a second floor? Yeah, exactly. That. Okay. Where are the pods? I'm going to show them to you. One second, Polly. Okay. Get, get your butt out of here. She's just being so diva tonight. So diva. Don't mind the size, please. Jesus. <laughs> How does it's nobody that see that? <laughs> Michael, are you sure that perception's right? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's, that's no moon. Roar, roar, roar. Polly, we get it. You're you're a diva. Just imagine these things red, okay? No, they're pulsing red. Dun 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 dun. Okay, so. You guys have um, full reign. The game is unpaused. You may go with what you want. What do you want to do? I want to jump across to the other building. Like, do you want me to help you? I'm I'm not even paying attention to Onaru. Like, I'm like clutching my side where there's like a slight bruise now.
Okay, so if you want to jump, uh, do an athletics or acrobatics. Kimmy holds up ah. her arms to catch him. <laughs> well, well, you, it's like at the same level, and it's not—it's only fifteen foot, so you make it. Um, I'll do when the I, same thing. When I get across, I want to uh, call out like special bird thing to tell eighty five to come to me. Special bird thing. Flies back down and says, "Observation: figures on the rooftop." Besides yourselves, moving around. Oh, well, oh. that's <laughs> lovely. Jump across as well. All right, do an acrobatics. We got, uh, yeah, yeah, do acrobatics. Ooh, I don't know. <gasps> yeah, you make it. Wait, are they on the other side of the building, or are they on the ground? Mm. They're on the other side of the building. So, man, but I'm not, right? No, you're on the ground. Yeah, you're on the ground. I'll uh, I'll jump down with Kimmy. Yeah, you're an arms problem. He threw you to the ground. Okay. Wait, now, do, I'm confused. Uh, Wait, which building? <laughs> do a deck save, Anaru. So you take that two d six. Twelve. Ah, uh, you're good. All right, Miyoko, what about you? Uh, can you just fly? Yeah, is that, <laughs> because that's not racially insensitive at all. Oh, no. Damn, no. Chicken. Uh, it's not a chicken. Also, you're, going, you're going to get us kicked. Here they are. Can't fly well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, vestigial wings. <laughs> Actually, with that, you just take 1d6. You take 6 bludgeoning. That's Jeez. like a third of her HP. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, wait, I still have temp. Ha ha. Ha ha. Temple Alley HP. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. So Mar Mar Mar's going around to his front door. Wait, Sebastian, go ahead. I want I want to like tell Maris like not not tell more like and like visually cue him to be like quiet, stay low because there's something else up here with us. Then use our own little eyes of the grave to see if it's. Of those stinky boys. You look up, you don't see anything. However, at the base of this uh, factory, below these uh, red glowing mushrooms or fungus, you can see a sea of flames. But it's all dim, not as uh, vibrant as when they were surrounded. They must be on the ground. Whatever's up here with us is not undead. Oh, well, either way, I'd like to try to be as quiet as we can. Blow the pump. You hear noise from the other side on the same level as you. Roll a stealth check for me. She's just been sitting there, like, um, <laughs> waiting for somebody else to come in. <laughs> A ten. He probably, like, called out, mm, Kimmy. <laughs> Did you not hear her agonizing scream all the way down two stories? <laughs> no, just kidding. The, the Wilhelm <laughs> scream? <laughs> <laughs> You see three bone, uh, skin to the bone figures 
clad it in like dark robes and most spiked helms, uh, wielding these staffs, uh, walk up to see these uh, the glowing uh, fungal vegetation below them, and um, one of uh, their eyes glow blue. And uh, one looks down, and he calls out in a um, language. I'm going to tell you the language. Does anybody speak Draconic? Oh. Mm. But you can see the head figure and just go, La Shotis Nanu Naka. And the other ones just kind of slowly nod. Oh, you yeah. said Laka. I get that one. Wait, wait. I heard you. I speak Draconic. What? <gasps> in, in, in game, that is the. Um, the official Zenosian language, like the high caliber mm. language. Is he like really loud? And that's how we all can hear it? Yeah, he's definitely not trying to be quiet. And what he says is like, with this, we will take the city of Lokka as part of our own. Where was this guy? He's like on the other end where Lilith is at, like in this area. Oh, way over here. I thought Lilith was on this building with us. I got slam dunked into the oh. building. I'm okay. just like peering yeah. over the railing, like. It was nothing but <laughs> net. <laughs> um, well, trying to be quiet still, I'm going to tell Maris because he's the only one that's within like whisper distance that, uh, <clears throat> Well, even if uh, we didn't find the uh, the pit boss or whatever at the whatever this guy wants to do, he wants to. Uh... I'm barely pretty sure that has to do with that stuff that you gave me. I bet you this is the building that we need to clear out, and those are the infestations. I'm whispering this, by the way. I'm not yelling. <laughs> well, if, um, as you're trying to uh, listen in a figure whispers behind you and says Kimmy what, what's up before this happens nothing personal kid <laughs> I mean since it's just me and Naru and Miyoko I'd be like so what should we do should we get back in that building obviously we go through the front door I, I think Sebastian and Maris went into the wrong building. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what building is what anymore. <laughs> Lopa, you hear a voice go, An ancient elder here. Yeah. And as you turn slowly, you can see this grotesquely deformed a uh, humanoid looking figure. He's got like clawed hands. His like mouth is ripped open. You see his teeth bare, no lips, white eyes, wearing this kind of blue cloak. And he, he shaved head with all these kind of tattoos. Definitely not your um, average person. When he looks at you, kind of not blinking. And he says, You. you Enjoy what we have given to the world. Also stares back, unblinking. Two can play that game. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like, immediately like, um, she's one of her claws and she just goes, she says, um, <clears throat> um, be like, 
Who are you? <laughs> Some call me the seer. I see everything for the host. For our brethren. And he kind of like has his long arms just kind of dragging across the uh the the steel belief you and just kind of clanking against it. He's looking at you slowly. And he says, um, my disciples led you here. They wanted you to see this, to see what they have done. This was not all our work. He looks down at like the, the kind of green fog getting let out. Um, what do you mean, disciples? The Temple of Lata? No, they are pawns. And they will be dealt with. But you, an elder being, can be saved. For the coming days ahead. What? What do you mean by days ahead? <laughs> Years ago, when they destroyed this this place, they unearthed something that now breathes and gives out life. Its form has been exposed to the world again. Kanaloa. And once you hear that word, and he says it in primordial, like it just resonates with you. Kanaloa. What was the word? Kanaloa. K A N A L O A. Well, what does this word mean to Lilipa? It is, um... It is an ancient, like, uh, evil. It's not like Doom, like what Mawkrug is. Like, uh, Mawkrug is the event, like the apocalypse. Kanaloa is, like, the devil. Oh, like, her face would, like, like, like scrunch up. <laughs> And, uh, does she, like, she doesn't know Draconic, but does she, can she recognize that, like, it was, like, the language that was spoken, like, in yeah. Zenos? Yeah, because you've been around a lot of Zenosians, and they speak that, that upper-class, uh, Zenosian Draconic. <laughs> <clears throat> and he goes, these figures over there, I cannot and control them. They are corruptions of what man has done, but they will fulfill the purpose necessary for his return. Just looks, <laughs> just looks very like, just like, like what the hell have I stumbled upon? <laughs> Just like, it's just like, uh, I do not understand. Uh, are you from Zenos? <laughs> you could say that. We're all disfigurements from that time, just like you. Are you... This will hurt the city, won't it? <laughs> the city will run red with blood. And my disciples have saw to it that there will be no escape. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. If you are a seer as you claim, then you know that I will do everything in my power to prevent this. 
And, like, she slices, like, other claws out. <laughs> you have will. But it won't matter. It will be either us or them that will destroy this plane. Us or them. I have heard this phrase before. It does not matter. I have triumphed over many. You are nothing. <laughs> it will be interesting to see. And he just kind of... Uh, just before he does his next thing, hit me. How much time has passed? Like, a couple it's minutes? It's been about a couple minutes, yeah. Um, Anari, do you know which way you threw Lilipa? Uh, yes. I tossed her into this building in Hill Point and this one here. gotta find a way in there because she's all by herself actually there's a lot yeah, of I'm going in... openings so yeah. you can just like walk in but it's like dark it's got the misty fog and um yeah michael i'm a civilized bird woman i'm gonna go through the front door okay okay i'm gonna run to catch up with her so she's not alone all right uh... naru will uh Kind of look up at the rooftops where they were and assume that Maris and Sebastian are in this building. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to kind of point my finger in that general direction and cast a uh, message All right, you uh, get, to um, whoever. Sorry. Yeah. Um, we are heading into the building that we tossed Lilipa. Um I think you guys are in a different building. Yeah, I I found that out now. I thought I jumped <laughs> in the right direction, but uh <laughs> I jumped the wrong way. Um do, do be careful though, 85 said there's things on the ropes. We haven't seen anything yet. We are, and I'll cast it again. It's just a cantrip. Uh, we're street level. We're heading in now. Uh, make your way to us as soon as you can. And Michael, how bright are these weird giant mushrooms? Uh, they give like a dim light glow of like 20 feet. Is it dark enough that I can do stealth check? You sure can. Before you do that, I before you do that, uh, let's get uh, Sebastian and Maris. What do you guys want to do? Set up. Oh, okay. I would tell Maris that they're going to walk in the front door. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any means for getting over to that roof? It's a little bit more of a jump. Where is where is the roof? Like it's over here. Yeah, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna shake my head and be like, uh, I'm sorry, I left my um harpoon gun matron doodad five thousand back on the ship. That's uh that's too far. Too far. Sorry, we were unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> you let the squishies go <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try something. Um, I'm gonna take the rope out of my bag and tie. I have a short sword and tie it to the hilt of the short sword. How I mean, you get I have 50 feet of rope, right? Mm -hmm. Does that roof look like it's 50 feet away? How far does it look away? Right here. It's 30 feet and then sure. another. Yeah, there you go. Like mm -hmm. uh, 20 feet. Because you're already on the roof. You know what? No. Um, Do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to walk to the edge of the roof because I got 40 feet of movement. 
Uh, Wait. How heavy, how heavy is a sword? How heavy is a sword? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I, I want to help see this through, and I want to MacGyver this. Okay. Um, what, what regards are, are you asking that? So I want to know, like, we're gonna make like uh, a pseudo zip line, right? Mm -hmm. So I want to like help Maris anchor it on our side, and then I want to give the sword to eighty five. Like, hey, can oh. you go? Can you go like anchor this like on that okay. side? Like, jam it in somewhere and make. make Make it solid, like not like just no snarky. I put it in there. <laughs> it just gets y'all like plummets to the ground. Like observation, you now have broken legs. <laughs> you did not I specify. I'll tell you me, I was just gonna throw it. <laughs> you did not specify. Hoi 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 hoi. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you give eighty-five. He flies out the window and then it goes out to the top of the roof and kind of you know shimmies it so it kind of catches itself. And, cool. Uh, so you two are climbing up on the rooftop. Let me drag y'all. Clarification. You were vague. <laughs> My ego just pecks out the rope as we cross. And uh, last eight. but not least, Anaru, where are you going? Um, I will um, enter the building last. I'm just going to kind of wait outside to see if Maris and Sebastian are making their way in. I assume as I see them uh, zip line across, I'll make my way inside. Okay. So, Miyoko, Kimi, and Anaru, the subjects. How high up are we? I'm trying to track it on my token. Uh, You're probably like, I would say 40 feet away. Okay. Like another 20. I got 19. Or no, 24. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, no, 18. I got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a 19 at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. You're using up all your good rolls. Oh, wow. So, uh, what you guys are seeing when you walk in, that dimly red glow, you can see, like, more zombies are, like, crawling out of this, like, mound. And uh, different uh, forms of them. You could see, uh, like, giants trying to pull themselves up slowly piecing themselves back together like their arms are having like all these like worms kind of like crawl there's like uh, slither their way and attach themselves to the the giant's um torso and um as all of this is going you guys are sneaking around little pump the seer looks at you and um says we will see each other soon and there will be no more pleasantries. I hope you can see what the Federation and humans and humanity could do left to their will. It's better to take it away. Um... You mean like slaves? It's either one or the other. They would use us. They have, and they still are. And he like points his hand outside the window, and you turn back, and you could see, um, because you're pretty high up, you could see like the the cliffs of uh, Laka Shell and he's pointing like out of the top where this like giant like uh, three story building that's like lit there and then as you turn back around uh, he's gone <laughs> um, can I just really quickly just use otherworldly perception Okay. He's like right behind you, like always sneaking away, standing in the why, corner. Why are you still looking at me? You, you just see. You, so with otherworldly perception, you just see him just kind of like just walking away casually. <laughs> just like 
looks at him like scratches his butt. He like <laughs> whiplash turns at you like <laughs> I see you. You you are a bad seer. <laughs> see us sees. I see all <laughs> seeing myself out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that just ruins. The <laughs> like, I'm, so, I'm like sorry. Like, going invisible. <laughs> it's like, I will be gone. And then you're like, I see you. Like, <laughs> you're right there. <laughs> God. He's like, I'm totally sorry. in the corner waiting for us to leave. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's like on the phone with his mom. Sorry, mom. I had a meeting. <laughs> what do you He's want? He's sitting there on the phone texting. <laughs> Watching TikToks. <laughs> what do you want from McDonald's? <laughs> what do you want for Blinksy King? <laughs> uh, just ignoring the silliness of that. Um, like she would um, just be like, you know, like this is not good," <laughs> and uh, start like trying to like make her way down to try to find her party again because like she's got some shit to tell them <laughs> that's really it okay guess what we're coming to you bitch all right so you guys uh little pie you gotta do another selfie check to make your way down And uh, after this moment, Sebastian and Maris, you do make it on the rooftop. So you're about 60 feet in the air. On the roof. Excuse me. Not one. Uh, well, no. no. The broken glass sound effect, though. <laughs> yeah. <I'm, I'm... laughs> it felt right at the time. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just as Lilipa is trying to uh, stealthily make their way, they trip over a finger of a particular undead. And it's a giant finger. And you see that it, like, reattaches to the hand. The hand turns into a fist. And zombie giant rises up, towers over Lilipa. <laughs> And the rest of the undead start to show themselves. I'm sure she's got it. Let's go back out the door. <laughs> You're the one that wanted to come in here. <laughs> yeah, but I rolled a 24 on my stealth. <laughs> and, uh, alright. So, everybody... Sure wish I could hear the music. It sounds great. Thank you. Very jaunty. I gotta start the combat. Oopsie. Not. I won't even like roll advantage 12. on that one. I'll just take the twenty-three. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna make one. I got the. And the game is paused, by the way. <gasps> now it's not. And just before we start, we're going to take our first break. Yeah. 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 What's this, like, metal music play? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that on pause. So we'll be back after a 15-minute break. Stay tuned. Woohoo! We'll see you then. Hello, welcome back to part two of Season Time 2.7, uh, session 40. Glad to have you back. Uh, our party just recently got themselves into a pickle. Uh, a lot of zombies are after them. And uh, yeah, let's see how this plays out in the epic conclusion of tonight's session. So.
Okay. Begin. Lilipa, you're a giant towering over you. About to smash. What do you do? <laughs> he just, like, looks up like... Alright. <laughs> um... Just do the usual. Let's, uh, rage. And, uh... Go for the ankles. <laughs> Maybe the toes. We'll see. <laughs> it's... And... Yeah. I almost hit the raise your hand one. Uh... I cast raise hand. <laughs> Hi. Please don't kill me. <laughs> well, you asked. Can I be excused from class? <laughs> Where's the bathroom? Okay, uh... That's 11, a lot 9, of 9, nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, the 20 hits. Yeah, I assumed. <laughs> Uh, so five plus two, so seven. Wow, wow. I'm coming for the ankle. Oh. <laughs> I love it. All right, oh, also, nice. you know, I, I also move up to it too, because. <laughs> I want to be on his ankle. No, <laughs> Little ankle biter. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, maybe we'll start biting. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> so Lilipa, caught by the giant, just leaps down at his toe and starts biting the toe viciously. <laughs> 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 All right, Kimmy. You see your... Good friend Lilipa, jump into the fray and battle. And you see the hordes of zombies behind that giant zombie. You start to rush in their direction. What do you do? Is she? Is she? Does the giant grab her or is he? She's just fighting. No, him. she's grabbing the giant oh, by the toe or the ankle. Uh, you know what? With just the 20, I think it's just the toe right now. I'll work my way up to ankle. There you go. Progression. That's a character I can get. <laughs> Mid calf by next game. <laughs> Shadow of the Lopa. <laughs> it's a good game. Okay, while well, that's happening, do I see all these zombies over here? Oh yeah, they're pouring out of the ground. Okay, okay, then I'm gonna do this guy. One. Technically, the giant did the two, right? Like... Yeah, he's on the ground. Okay. One zombie succeeds. Let's see if the frost giant succeeds. Nope. Hmm. Only one zombie. He's not charmed. Can you mark which one it is? Yeah, I'm about to do that. Just gotta find the charm thing. So all but one of them are smiling at us now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they just look very dazed and just having a great time. <laughs> now they're friendly. <laughs> mm, I'll be first. 
but they are incapacitated and their speed is zero now. Lilith, as you're dodging like them, just like smashing like its toe with a giant club, the last one just like very slowly and just kind of bops you on the head. Just kind of gives up. And you look up and you can see the, the frost giants like looking in the direction of Kimmy going. Ugh. Um, and then while I'm here, can, I can't see Sebastian or Maris yet, right? Um. Yeah, they're pretty high up. Okay. Um. Then I'm gonna do mantle of inspiration. And I'm gonna do it on. I can see Lilipa, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do it on Lilipa, Miyoko, me, and Anaru. So we all get eight. Temp HP and keep the move. Okay. Is this like a. Uh oh. Can I go in this room? We're losing the boy. Dante is Annie. Can I? I'm just wondering if this is like a. Is this a staircase or a roof? <laughs> uh, that is. Uh, that is a staircase that leads to the second. Okay. Room. Can I go in this room? So if you're going up there, you're going to be uh, 20 feet. Yeah, you can go with it. Oh, and you can wow. see. Oh, yep. And you can see that it's like a lot of shelves and equipment and like, um, like a lot of dust and cobwebs everywhere. And Anara, where are you moving? Uh, I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Uh, I see my squishies running off in different directions, but I see Lopa <laughs> fighting a giant. Uh, well, Lopa's not. Lopa's just like, this is Kimmy's work. <laughs> like, gets off the toe uh, and goes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up to here. The zombie the next to you just kind of looks at you. Ugh. It has pink eyes now. Gross, pink, pink eye. eye. Very infectious. Mm. Roll a con it's save. Contagious. <laughs> All right. Naru turns around with the same pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of them. Kill him. <laughs> All right, Kimmy. You have charmed the zombies. What would you like to do? Uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> okay. This one, looking down at the scene before them, holds up his staff, and in Draconic, echoes out, You cannot stop us. We will take back the city. <coughs> it's a bad cough. Very. And he's going to have like a shimmering aura kind of encase around him, kind of frosty armor. And uh, that's what he's going to do. And he's going to move uh, on the uh, third floor, uh, kind of above this floor right here. Just kind of hang out. All right, Miyoko. How are you doing? Okay. Uh... First question, how tall are these mushrooms? Mm, they go probably about like 25 feet in the air. They're a bit taller than me. Okay. Uh, well, I think I will just activate. Where is this? Where did I put it? Here we go. I'm going to activate that. Uh, and then I will do this to myself. Bada bing. Mm. 
And then I will hold an action. If anybody gets up to me next to me on the stairs, I'll hit them with my sword. All right, all right. Good deal, good deal. I want to hit them with my sword. <laughs> Can That'll be do. my turn. Sebastian, you finally climb on top of the roof. So we're like on top of. We're not, we're not even in this room yeah you're like on top and you can see down below you can see like uh the ladders you know the the stairs and stuff like that but like it goes you can see all the way to the bottom you know there's like different floors but they're all kind of in the is same is there a way to go from the the roof to like a, a scaffolding yeah above yeah. without oh. okay I, I, that's why pretty much i'm gonna move from wherever i am on the roof to down to the scaffolding to be inside of this room. Okay. Yeah, you're kind of on the same floor as this guy that was um, where Lidipi was originally at. You okay. See him. So I, I see, that's that's the first guy I see, then a bunch of stuff below me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let's just, I'm just going to pull out normal pew pew and I'm going to take a shot at um, this guy here. Go for it. No oh god, a 10. Mm, that does not hit him. He guy holds up his staff and a, a frosty aura comes up and... <laughs> deflects it and the roof just gets shattered <laughs> um maris you're on top but you just fall kind of down with them but glass starts to fall down and as that's happening the, everybody at the bottom do death saves do i have to if i'm in that room yeah you're good Ooh. Six. Yeah, it takes six glass damage. Do some glass acid damage. Five. Take six. Yes. <laughs> but your rage is way bad. <laughs> glass feels my rage. I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I love glass candy. <laughs> anyway, Sebastian, go ahead. I want to take a second shot at uh, the same guy. Okay. Load, load it with glass so you can be a glass man. Grabs one, loads it up. I aim at the guy, and the last second I just swivel and point at him. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it wasn't me! Uh, Miyoko, take six glass damage. That's 12. Yeah, blocks it off again. And he speaks in Draconic. He says, One supporting them, a one of your kind. How disappointing. I don't say anything back to him, because I don't know who this man <laughs> is. So two attacks down, is that all you want to do? How dark is it up here? Uh, it's pretty dark, I would say, because the, the it's definitely nighttime now. Uh, there's no moon out. Uh, very kind of cloudy. And, uh, yeah, and the only glow you can see is like below you. Okay. Even though, like, you saw where I shot, I want to try to hide as a bonus action. Yeah. Do a stealth check. No, 12. Uh, 12? Yeah, you try to hide, but his blue eyes are just tracking you the whole time. 
You cannot hide from me, Yonti. Oh, I can. Oh, wait. Um. Well, that's all I can do, and then I gotta move uh, 85. Okay. Let me bring him in. Boys, big. Boop. <laughs> Reduce his size. Where, where are you moving them? That's what I'm just trying to think. Because oh. can, can I see any of my team below me? Nah. Uh, you can definitely see a little bit. And you can see it now. I'm much shinier now that I'm covered in glass. Mm -hmm. it, it puts the only one down here on this side, right? Yes. I'm gonna tell 85 to like swoop below this thingy and like go down like within um, like five feet of her. 85 flies next to Lopa and says, Observation. We shall deal with them quickly. Um, she would like respond back really quick, like just very rushed, like to say, We need to destroy the building, I think. <laughs> Will do. And then... te technically, I guess he gets an attack also. All right. So, um, peck, peck your little birdie. Nope, seven. Oh, Jesus. Even with a zombie, that's not enough. It's a little take too chaotic. You know, the zombies are just like rushing forward. Little foot's kind of holding off, and then, um. It's really hard for 85 to find an opening. Okay. That's 85's turn. The giant. <laughs> Sluggish. Not doing much. Uh, wait a minute. He's got to make a deck save. The glass. Dun dun dun. And he succeeds. Wait, wow. the frost giant did that? Yeah, he succeeds, so he does not get hurt. <laughs> yeah, he does not get hit by the glass. Well, the glass hits him, but he doesn't pierce his hardened skin. Lucky you. I need to fail that roll, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Inari. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to... These guys are all stunned, correct? Uh, they got the little markers. This guy right here is not... He's the only one that's not stunned. Okay, so I'm gonna move around... Or, I guess I can move through them. Um... And I'm yeah, going to attack that one that's not glazed over. I'm going to hit him. Yeah, right, go for it. Bada boom, bada bing. Ooh. Uh, 22. That hits. For 8 damage. Alright. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to summon my uh, echo. And I'm going to put it right in front of me. Okay. So like right there. Perfect. Uh, and then I am going to uh, move right there, so I'll probably get an attack of opportunity. Okay, well, he's going to do it. He's going to slam you. For 19. Wait, uh, I No, this one isn't. Uh, 19 hits my armor class. Okay, so he's going to do some damage for six bludgeoning. All right. Is that all you're doing? Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm just going to wait there. I'm going to leave my echo where he is, though. Okay. 
All right. This one rushes over, looks down at Miyoko. Uh, it says in Draconic. If you don't understand it, then he's just going to say, Nasulika! Starts whipping his wand around. And he's going to cast a spell on you. Uh, uh, right next to you, Miyoko, you can see like this like, little tear opening up in space. And it starts to open up. And you can see like this... Uh, it's very reminiscent to um, way back on Kualoa, the island, when the, the, the Macaulay were getting sucked into these uh, little portals. And you can see, like, all the demons just kind of scraping together trying to get out. But it's pulling you in. Oh, so. those are never good. <laughs> <laughs> so I yelled back in Elvish something that uh, if Kimmy could not repeat. <laughs> uh, I want you to do a dexterity save. Okay. Uh, oh, where are you? Here we go. Hey, twenty-one. Oh, you resist the pull to go into the void. And yeah, I don't want to uh, go there. But it's basically blocking off uh, going further up, and it's just kind of like a little black hole that's constantly pulling. Make it for him. You try to go near it or anywhere like further up, it's going to pull you in. Or you're going to try to. Yeesh. Alright. This one... Uh, if I can select it. It's going to do that very same thing, but to a Maris and Sebastian. Has no spell? Yes. What was it? Was it a deck saving throw? Jesus fucking Christ. This is where Sebastian does nasty stuff. <laughs> 18. Okay. Come on. Poke Sebastian. Counter spell. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do any spells. Counter, counter science. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get counter spell. I don't get counter anything. <laughs> spells aren't religion. Real. Religion does that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys are gonna take uh, some damage. You're gonna take uh, nine necrotic damage. Ooh. And you can feel like it's pulling at you. And if you need to get out, you're going to have to reload. Alright. Uh, the zombie's turn. Wonderful. Well, they're going to crowd around 85 and Lilipa for a lovely time. And then one zombie's going to try to hit that uh, specter from Naru. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three hits for both. Uh, what's the... What's the, uh, hit on it? Uh, so for 85, it's 21, 18, and a four. And then Lopa gets a crit, a 22, and an 18. Three of those hit. Wait, they're attacking the Lopa? Yes. Uh, one one of them has this advantage. One of the attacks. Yeah. The current one. The current one. Mm -hmm. It was the first one, so it does count. Yeah, so, uh, and it crit again. 
<laughs> oh no. Uh, sh show me. Sh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Zombies critting, that's a lot of damage. Watch out. For like six? <laughs> For a total of six crit damage. Three. You now have pink eye. Uh, so you're gonna get 16 in bludgeoning damage, half that 8. Yay. And then 21 and 18 against 85. Four. Total of 11 bludgeoning against our dear robot bird friend. I'm gonna, wait, what was it? Say it again. It was uh, to hit a 21 and an 18. Okay, they both hit. He's gonna do 11 bludgeon. Alright. And then the last one's gonna hit the ghost uh, for a double crit. I'm just kidding. Uh, for a triple crit. Whoa, he rolled 100 damage. One zombie. Wow. <laughs> uh, Maris, you're up. So the code is coming from directly in front of you, right? Yes, and it's pulling at you. And you feel like you can't move until you make a save. A dex. That's my action to make that save? No, but it will reduce your movement speed by half. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna make that dex save. But wait, you do start your turn in it. So you must take... 5 acid damage. Oh! Did you say acid damage? That's 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 the first time we've used acid in this entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, I got I'm, I'm immune to acid. Oh it God. finally happened. I got. I, I was looking at Sebastian. I'm, I'm gonna use magic for him, and then I looked at Maris. I'm gonna use acid. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give him a big toe to munch on. Okay. I was thinking about all of you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever got to use my immunity. It feels so good. <laughs> Take no damage. But you don't feel good about it, okay? You you don't feel any damage, but mentally you're not doing hot. Physically, you're having a psychotic break. All right, fair enough. <laughs> what? Are you? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're stuck. <laughs> you can't move anywhere. That's for sure. Uh, that's fine. It's the de it's this dude right here, right? The one that's right in front. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm gonna. Hit him with a dart. Oh, rude. Go for it. You throw the dart, but you forget that you're throwing it into like a pulling nether and it just <laughs> gets sucked in like Have a vacuum. Good night, Jermaine. See you next time. <laughs> Shoots out the other portal by Miyoko. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Miyoko's dead! <laughs> well, thank God it didn't hit Sebastian, because that's straight poison on that dart. <laughs> it wouldn't matter. You can eat all those all day. <laughs> Eats them for breakfast. He, he likes to eat dartios. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Maris. Where else do you think he gets his venom um, from? Do I have any bonus actions? Like, what? Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, that's it. You can't throw your fist. <laughs> All right, so Maris, you're done. Uh, the greater zombies are up, and then Lopa and Kimmy. So, greater zombie, uh, its arm just like it's all just kind of fungus attack uh, appendage, and it like just attaches to uh, this giant like mushroom, and uh, it pulsates and um, coming out of the ground. Or more zombies. Wow. Wow, Michael, really? Alright, do it any more slower. Any more slower, Michael. And yeah, so uh Where'd they come from? The oh boy, 
these guys are summoning them by attaching to these glowing wait but i'm saying where did where did these three come from oh because wait this he one... can't take an action you're right i'm so done Boop, boop. Nice. Get the this one. hell out of here. <laughs> yeah. See? Good job. All right. Hey, little pup. What you do? Um, what I have seen that happen, like, just. Uh, yeah, I think you would. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, more zombies. <laughs> right? They're just coming out of the ground, and you see the, the one greater zombie that you fought, like, uh, literally a couple hours ago is, like, attaching themselves to this, like, fungal plant and summoning more. Well, to be fair, he was really blurry during that battle. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know just, like, It was, like, one eye. Like, like one eye's looking at, like, all the zombies, and the other eye just kind of goes, focuses in. <laughs> and she's just like, alright. <laughs> um... Yeah, you gotta take care of problems at their root. <laughs> or fungal root. I don't know. <laughs> um, I will take these opportunity attacks. To just like, like she just like, she just like starts scrounging over these zom like these other zombies just like, out of my way. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um. And like, while well, going past 85, um, she tell like she tells the birds like you tell the others <laughs> um building destroy it's bad <laughs> so 18 18 and 20. those all hit i'm gonna do 12 damage six but... all right you're just slapping over your head as it just kind of rushed away <laughs> And uh, yeah, you get to uh, to where that uh, leader is. You can see that like their arm is like attached, and like it's sending out this like pulse wave. Just kind of like imagine like she just like scrounges all over these zombies and just like leaps and like latches onto them like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna start uh, clawing at his head like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. 16, 19, 25, 20. Those all hits. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm. A, I was about to like if it, it was if it was bad again. I was about to be like Michael. I want to take disadvantage on all these rolls because for some reason it just worked last week. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta game the system, okay? It's working for a Naru right now. So like. <laughs> true. True. Roll that damage. Uh, 23 Oof. plus, if they all hit, 8, so 31. Okay. And it is magical. You tearing through, ripping apart the armor, get to the flesh, the undead flesh. 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 And uh, you can see that you have definitely wounded this uh, greater zombie, but he's not out yet. Right. And that will be her turn. Just latched on and just slapping. 1 800. <laughs> I am slapping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get me. Okay, I'm going to do. Fairy fire. Come on, all these guys. They are so they charmed and having a good time. Yeah, they have a good deck save. Do they automatically fail? If they're charmed? If they're charmed. That's a great question. Or at least disadvantage. <laughs> they can't even move or think. Charmed creature can attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. The charmer has advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature. So, no. Well, they it says they're incapacitated, though. 
says, while charmed by the spell, the creature is incapacitated and it has a speed of zero. Yeah, but that just means it can't take an action or a reaction, but it can still do a dex save, right? Well, yeah, it says it can't take What does Jeremy Crawford say? Uh, incapacitated means it can't take actions or reactions, but they can still do a, a dex save. Okay, worth a shot. But zombies are slow as hell, so it, it definitely won't matter. Except for one courageous zombie. <laughs> Bill. Fucking Bill. Two zombies. And then greater zombie. Yep, yeah, greater zombie lives. Does not get fairy fired. Oh, my echo has to roll also. Oh my god. It's a dex save? Yeah. Seven. He's glowing. <laughs> Very handsome. He's gonna turn around, look at me, and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing this right, boss? <laughs> Oh. Love it. Is that all you want to do? Shadow. Um. For now, yeah. Okay. The mastermind. Ah! <laughs> Is going to uh, na, 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 na. he's going to look at Sebastian and he's going to hold out his hand and he says, We will recreate you, give you new life, but first I must take it. And, like turns his hand and you can feel like inside your body like all your muscles are just constricting and get pulled uh even more so towards them and i need you to do a con saving throw and it's a spell who's this this guy the the blue shaded one this one this one mm -hmm. Ooh, you succeed. Uh, we're gonna take half of this. Um, you're gonna take 16 uh, necrotic damage. So you can feel like your whole vitality is just getting drained. Wait, you said that's like success? Yeah. It took half damage. Oh, Sebastian. Ooh. And that's its turn. Miyoko. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm going to say... Oh. oh don't target me. <laughs> Just put my back against the wall real fast. Uh... So Miyoko's going to grab her sword and she's going to draw it, but instead of something coming out of the blade, an arc of lightning is going to come out of the hilt and it's going to wrap around this guy's leg and I need a strength saving throw. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, you rolled a seven. <laughs> nice. Okay, so how much did he take? Uh... Okay, so he takes seven uh, lightning damage, and he is pulled ten feet closer to me through his own black hole. Let me see. Okay, he succeeded on his concentration, <laughs> so it stays up. Now he's got to do... 
can't do a death save. Himself. God. <laughs> And he fails his own. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Luckily, he's got resistance to his own. <laughs> so it takes half the yeah, day. Feels... You kind of pull, you, you get your katana out, and you know, lightning comes out, wraps around, and pulls him in. He kind of like braces himself as like this nether uh, realm that he created starts to suck him in, starts pulling away his undead flesh, and, and, uh, yeah, he kind of stabilizes, but you can definitely see that did hurt him quite a bit. Uh, let's see, hold on, who's measuring? So he was right here. So he should end up right here on the stairs with me. Because I am going to whack him a few times. Oh, so yeah, he was. And with my second action from haste, I'm gonna fucking try to hit him. Uh, oh, I can only roll damage. Okay, well. Where did I put you, Katana? Here we go. So they should have plus two on it, because it's a spell attack. Oh! oh. Okay, uh, what am, what, the, what am I even rolling? Oh, God. Uh, well, I'll do damage. Oh, I didn't normal. God damn it. <laughs> well, I'll just do normal again. So, 15. And then... This I rolled critical. Okay. So, 25 damage. 10 of those are uh, thunder damage. <laughs> As I just cut him right down the fucking middle. <laughs> And uh, what what happens is like he's at the top of the stairs. He summons that nether portal, starts to open it up. You know, you hold your own. You let out that uh, coil of lightning. You bring him down. He gets kind of ripped apart by his own nether, and then he's like falling down towards you. And you kind of do that, shh, cut him through the middle, and you do it. You cut him right through, and he two he has two pieces of himself just flying in different directions, and he tumbles down to his death. Does he get sucked back into his oh, portal? <laughs> yeah, the other half of him just like <laughs> gets sucked in and the portal <laughs> closes. Miracle goes, yuck. <laughs> did uh, so, uh, did Anaru see any of this, by no. the way? Nope, you're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. So if the uh um, if the point Dante, you're dying. I'll run up. You died. I'm dying? No! Mm. Don't let me die. There's too many effects. How about now? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay. I'm just gonna run up here. Second level now, fully. 30 feet. Yep. Yep. Alright, alright. That'll be my turn. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Oh. Alright, Sebastian, what are you up to? Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of this uh, cone thing. Do you take acid damage? Uh... Are you resistant? No, because he's cute. <laughs> no. no, it's poison. Okay, you're going to take five acid damage, and you can do a dex save to get out of it. Get that happy movement speed. If you succeed. You succeed. You're out. Yay! Lit. Boom. Uh, 
Yeah, well, I mean, that's me, so I'll just stand there then, and then I'm going to have 85 disengage from where he's at. <laughs> oh, no, it just, it just halves your movement speed. You can still you can still move. You can still do your actions. I can still take an action? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pull out the other gun. The big? Yep. Yeah. yeah, giant long rifle just spins out. This guy right here. Alright. You load up the quartz. Little tubes light up. Bright. Shining through the darkness. Go for it. I'm about to blast him. 15. Yep. That's a hit. Twenty-one damage. Knocks him back. He tries to put up the shield in time, but it just breaks instantly. It just starts to roll backwards, and you can see like steam and smoke rising off, and little uh, fires. Uh, I'll take another shot then. Okay. You load it up. Ooh, that's a hit. Roll that damage. Yeah, 14. You shoot it. Whole body just blows up. Blows up. Does the spell disperse now? The spell disperse? No, I thought it was the guy behind him. No, he did the... Uh, oh, he did the, he did the other thing on me. Okay, that's right. <laughs> and then I mean yeah I can't do anything else so then I'll have 85 um, disengage from where he is at okay and what did you tell him Philippa to tell um... other people uh, destroy the building. It is evil. <laughs> I mean, he would. I guess he would disengage, fly up, and then tell Sebastian that, and then Sebastian's just gonna be like, "What? <laughs> what? What? What do you mean destroy the building?" Uh, Eighty-five reports. Observation, it seems that the zombie infestation is directly linked to the structure. I mean, that's all fine and dandy, but we're, um, we're in the building. <laughs> if I'm sh 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 short circuits, <laughs> I will go report. <laughs> I'll, I'll relay that to the mayors that we have to destroy the building. Right. Um, I'm gonna take care of that one down there first. <laughs> I'll point at the big guy. <laughs> Alone, he's mine. <laughs> it's on my toes. It's my ankle. <laughs> okay, that's uh, Sebastian's turn. The frost giant um, moves over, stomping, looks down a little bit, holds up its club. Uh, when did he get uncharmed? He can only not target the charm. But if he also got hit. So his uh, uh, movement is zero. zero. And his he's incapacitated. Is... That's the get... part I need to hear. But did he get hit? <laughs> yeah. He he didn't yeah, take any damage. No, he didn't. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I, I just read it on. But, yeah. Oh, take you that. get back over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you it's wait coming. Turn. 
I, I know it's coming, and he will have to wait. <laughs> wait his turn. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. And our... Alright. Uh... <clears throat> Anaru is since all of these guys oh this guy's still uh not charmed so is he he's not um glowing uh is this one yeah he's not glowing this one and okay. the, the the guy here is not glowing I'm going to I'm going to go after this guy then um I'm going to move right there so that I am flanking him with my echo okay plus 2 and we're gonna we're gonna do some hits on him. Okay. Go for it. Uh, eighteen. Mm-hmm. That is eleven damage. Okay. And my second attack is gonna come from the echo. 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, 9 damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish by moving around. I'm not going to leave uh, combat with him. I'm just going to move around him. And I'm going to have my echo move to there. Okay. I suppose it might take uh, opportunity attack from this guy. Uh, yeah. Actually. Slam. 18, 4, 6. Bludgeon. Uh, that hits and <laughs> it just disappears. <laughs> it had an advantage on him, too. Alright. Let's see if it uh, got a crit. A world of mates. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay. Is that all you want to do, Anara? That's it. Alright. Both of the death blocks are dead. Now the zombies! Oh, and them... I hit this guy, so he's not charmed anymore. Unless he wasn't charmed in the first place. Yeah, you're right. He wasn't charmed. So, this zombie's gonna move and start to slap you. Or 13. Nope. Miss. <laughs> Just slaps against your shield. No uh, so 85 flew up. Do it, Michael. Do <laughs> it. <laughs> Got a crowd in here. Plus the zombies are just watching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Multi attacks. Uh, attack. 19, 21, crit, and 21. Those all hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. For the crit. For a total of 23, uh, calculator time. Like 11? Yes. 11 bludgeon. Balls are slapping your head. Oh, nice. My health is 69. Nice. 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 <laughs> All right. That's Nut. it for the zombies. <laughs> Maris. This guy's still alive, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. He's directly in front of me? Mm-hmm. All right. Then Powish. I'm going to go right up to him. I'm hey, boo -boo. I'm going right up to him. <laughs> hey. I uh, got my flurry of balls. Smarter than the average monk. <laughs> I'm popping him. Uh, I have too many things now, Michael. Too many things. So many things. Hitting him with my flurry of bows basket. 
<laughs> We're gonna give him a pound and put him in the ground, yay! <laughs> wow, that was good, Dante. <laughs> 18 to 24. 22 unarmed attacks. Buff does hit. Total of 14. And then we are uh, 3 blows. Nineteen and twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Both those hit. And that's eleven. And that second one, stunning strike. So you have to make a con save of fifteen, please. Sorry, one second. Uh, so 11 and 14. And he's going to make a con saving throw. It rolled a nine. Sweet. Took out the magic for me. All right, cool. Um, Sebastian, he's all yours. He can't move. And I'm just gonna walk around him and start hitting downstairs. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bop, bop, bop. Mirror stuns the master and leaves him there for Sebastian. Uh, zombie looks down at Lilipa. Holds up its uh, one free hand. And then power slam. Do two hits. For a um, another crit and a twenty. Those both hit. Golly. Damage. Can I have this? We're gonna take twenty-four bludgeoning damage. You can feel like the the armor, the fungal armor he has, is just like adding into the oomph. And um, yeah, so I, I can't have this bludgeoning damage. No, I already have it. Oh, you already have it. I was, I was just like, what makes it different? <laughs> it's special. It's special. All right. All right. Oh no, my sixty-nine. Not <laughs> nice. And then the other one's gonna attack Mr. Anaru for two. 23 and 21. Both hit. Alright, gonna do some damage. For a total of 27. Bludgeoning. So it's crashing into you, making you falter, fall back. This one's tough. Alright, that's it for them. That's it for the boys. Now, Lilipa and Kimmy, you're up. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep attacking main guy. Like she's just so focus fired on this guy that it's just like I just kind of imagine this like slow motion pile up where she's just like. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> if this is the hill she dies on, mm. <laughs> but she's thinking about how she does make it through. She's gonna make Kimmy a new fish dinner that she's been thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 23, 13, 12, 20. Two hit. Uh, 24. With rage. With rage. <laughs> rage. Well, it's just like clawing off the rest of the zombies, just leaping back onto this greater one, just starts ripping, clawing, fighting. It's bloody. But I said yes. Um, that's it. Okay. Kimmy. If I go like right here, um, would I be able to see the zombies 
on the second floor? Uh, no, this is on the first floor. Like, the only- Wait, uh, they're on the first floor this whole time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I thought they were on the second floor, because I was like, man, I wish I could help them, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I told you we're all on the ground floor, except for, um, Maris and Sebastian. Yeah, Miyoko's on the second. And well, Miyoko went Miyoko's. upstairs. Yeah. Well, I got confused because Sebastian and them were fighting the zombies. You were all fighting the same zombies. No. They were fighting the the death clock people, and I'm fighting the regular zombies. Death clock people. Well, I guess I was just, I'm just the confused one. Anyway. No, it's okay. It happens. No I'm just going to summon my zombies. Mm hmm Zombies attack! <laughs> I was trying to... <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, there you go. Um... It's concentration. If you cast it again, you're gonna decast it from the guys that are already turned. No, because it says for a duration, and it says that the only way that they would get uncharmed is by... It's just the pattern is gone. And you can see on the spell itself, it says concentration. I can see. Well, yeah, I imagine that the they're, it, it's hypnotic pattern, so just imagine that they're being charmed specifically by the pattern. So if the pattern goes away, they get uncharmed. Mm. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, delete that then. Uh, delete it. Okay. Because I can't delete it. And, um... <laughs> there we go, I got it. Damn you, Foundry! There we go, got it. Who are you attacking? The zombie that's not charmed. Okay, go for it. Uh, 17 hits, yep. Four. Four, four. you right through the head, pokes out. Okay, and then Mantle of Inspiration, me, Lilipa, Anaru, and Miyoko. Okay. okay. I'm going back in my room. <laughs> The zombie will get the hit. It's a spell. He'll try, Ellie. Yeah, no, mantle of inspiration, they don't get opportunity attacks. You're so right. I'm stupid. We all do, goops. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Knock everyone over. <laughs> all right. Miyoko is on uh, the floor, third floor. Mm -hmm. This this is the one that hit me for like 8,000 damage? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? No, I'll just go over here. You know, it's so clutch that charm, because that giant just sitting there twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Detachable thumbs. <laughs> we'll deal with you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love it. Um. Okay. Kami's turn is done. And now the stun guy. Speaking of which, how's that stun until the end of your next turn? So he's just holding his staff out in a daze. <laughs> Me, Yoko. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. All right, D. Um. Oh, it's so hard. Does it look like Lilipa's in an, a fucking or. <laughs> She looks like, look like um, she's doing. <laughs> she's getting dogged on while grabbing onto this guy and just slashing at him. And she is, mm, she she does look a little bloodied. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. But she's just so folk. Like her eyes are just like. <laughs> yeah. Did she? Um. Fucking? Yeah, fucking. Oh the boy, fuckening. that is a, oh that is a fucking if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run past Mars here, 
this guy's Hello. dead. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Um, <laughs> do you think with haste I can jump 10 feet? Michael? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Lit. Alright, I'm gonna take... Uh, yeah, that's not the plan. I am going to jump um, and I'm going to try to so how would this work? If I wanted to do a falling attack, could I deal the falling, uh, the same falling dice that I take for falling onto the guy who I hit? <laughs> so if I take like 3d6 falling damage, can I deal 3d6 extra? Mm, I'll do a dice less, but no, we can do it this way. Yeah. So you're falling down 50 feet. You're going to take 5d6. 50 feet. Because you're 50 feet in okay. the air. Okay. Didn't you say the, yep. the fungal things are like 25 feet tall? Yeah. So if you wanted to fall on that, or she wanted to fall on that, that's fine. But if you're if you're trying to fall on a zombie, then that would be 5 d Oh, shit. Oh, could I jump onto the mushroom and then fall down off the mushroom to take less falling damage? <laughs> <laughs> that's totally possible. 5d6 okay, I'll, I'll do that. kill you. Alright, do a yeah. deck save for me. Let's see if you land. Okay. Just, just I've fucking... been iffy with these this episode. This but I'm also... Going. Yeah. I don't die mid-air, Jermaine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Seven. You did good. You, you gr graceful landing. Alright, I... I'm slamming my sword onto one of these zombies. Uh, I really need to put this goddamn katana in my hot bar. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that obviously hits. Yep. Uh, so he takes five. And it's a magical weapon, so if he has any resistance, nah. Mm -hmm. Nah, homie. Mm -hmm. Alright, and you're gonna take right. you're gonna take the fall damage. Yep. So you're gonna take seven bludgeoning. Add it on to the zombie. Uh lit. And then with my second action from haste. Uh I am going to do another flurry of unblockable light attacks by do casting this. Oh, if it ever rolls. There we go. <laughs> uh, one for each of the three in front of me. All right. Ooh, one zombie is going to try to die. Oh. I'm gonna try to die. Please he's let me die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he, he's back up. God damn you, undead! <laughs> I forgot what the feat's called. <laughs> <laughs> Redeadening. Oh, Re I accidentally rolled it twice. I bet. It's the same roll. <laughs> it's the same roll. <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dead they all. They all take three. <laughs> they all take three magic. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, they're still up. One of them's barely hanging on. Yep. So, Lilipa, as you're just, like, clamoring through this zombie horde, getting to the main one, you can see this, like, a little flash blur just kind of slam itself down into the pile, and they all start scattering around and start swarming over it, and you're seeing these little bolts of magical energy shoot out from this little flashy image. You don't know who it is. I think she's so, fo like, just in rage focus that just like it was a blip but she's just like if, if I'll deal with that later <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're both doing the Dragon Ball Z so fast you can't see it it's punching <laughs> <laughs> inside Love of it. a pile of zombies <laughs> alright Sebastian you got your, your stunned prey in front of you does he get any disadvantage for being stunned 
Stun creature is incapacitated, can't move and speak. Creature automatically fails strength and dex saving throws. Roll it, yet has advantage. Oh, I automatically have an advantage? Okay, cool. Yeah. Then I'm not going to move 85. Um, I still have the big gun now, so... Yeah, baby. <laughs> Now, does the attack have an advantage? Yes. The okay. attacks made against it have advantage. Okay. So, 22. And that hits. And then he takes 19. And because I have advantage, he also takes... <gasps> Sneaky! Three more points of damage. Sneaky! Alright. <laughs> yeah, he's still up. I'm gonna need to attack again. My crit. Is he Ma still? Is he still stunned? So do I still get advantage or? Uh, yeah, until the end of Maris's turn. Oh jeez. All right. No. Nope. Monk shit. Twenty-two again. <laughs> ah, I think your dice are loaded, buddy. Let me see them. <laughs> uh, sixteen. Plus the uh, sneak. No, I, I can only get sneak once. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> He's bloody. You can see, like, you just blew up a chunk of his shoulder, and you can see, like, it's just all hollowed out, and, like, ashes are just kind of, like, flying out of it. And, uh, but he's still alive, though. Just kind of looking at you with I'll... piercing blue eyes. How do I get down from up, up where I'm at? Mm, there are, like, a. Uh ladders and stairs like right behind you that you can take or you just jump or you could jump there is a mushroom that's like 25 <laughs> feet in the air so it'd be like a, a 30 foot or 30 to 20 to 30 foot drop you could probably stick it oh my don't mind so what I, I would have to like to move do something i'd have to move here jump off here okay i'm good Right? Yeah, exactly. I'd have to jump off somewhere here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> somewhere here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. But you said there's a ladder back, like, over here somewhere? Mm-hmm. I want to take the ladder. Okay. It's me hurting. All right. So, it goes down about 10 foot, and then you're, like, on the, the uh, second floor. And then you can okay. see another staircase that leads down. And then what I would have to go down here mm -hmm. to get over, like, down here. What's your movement speed now? Well, from there, the, from there to here, that was, what, 10 feet? Mm -hmm. So then I would still have 20 feet. Is this like a big machine, right? This is what I'm trying to get to, is the big machine. Yeah, it's a giant, like, machinery. Mm -hmm. And you see, actually, that the, the green uh, kind of foggy thing is, like, coming out of that machine. Okay. I'm going to go... That looks very blow up -able, mm -hmm. in my opinion. I'm going to mm -hmm. go here, 20 feet. And then how far down from here to here is? Uh, it's another five, uh, ten foot drop. Ten foot drop. Okay. I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash and, and vault it, and that'll be me. And then I'm gonna send eighty-five at this guy. <laughs> He's gonna be the one that crits. Yep. Probably. <laughs> Probably he'll he'll be the one that gets the fucking crit. Because <laughs> uh, he gets advantage also, right? Yep. Nope. Oh wow. Twenty. Nope. 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 All right. Well, I'm gonna put him like on I guess like the side of him. Okay. All right. Anario. 
All right. Uh, I am, I'm hurting, so I'm going to bonus action second wind. And get, uh, ten. Ooh. I rolled a four. Okay, well, it's something. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to get 10 HP back, and this guy is up on the second floor, correct? Third. These guys are down here. Okay, so these guys are down here on my level, yeah. as are these guys. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, I'm going to run up and just start wailing on this one here. All right, go for it. Uh, first attack, 16. Mm-hmm, that hits. Uh, seven damage. Okay. Still in it. <gasps> oh, oh, net one. Mm -mm. You hit me. <laughs> no! Ooh, yeah. whoa, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Protect the squishy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I see buff Miyoko. That's not Miyoko! <laughs> Kill it! <laughs> Imposter! Alright. Get your two attacks in. That all you want to do? Yeah, and that that's it. And and I'm gonna um, shake the blood at the zombie. Just like <laughs> wipe it off my face and flick it at it. Okay. Alright. Zombie time! Uh, these three are gonna attack Miyoko. Uh, well... One's gonna come over here. Well, but you can do an opportunity attack if you want. Mm. Kill that boy. Mm. I think like gonna... one eye, one eye focuses in, just to say no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Somebody help me do math. Um. It's just one claw attack, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't math, but... <laughs> Are you going to Sentinel, or is that your main? 19. It's me, baby. Okay. Uh, 19 hits. So, 7. Okay. Go right through him. He's still here, though. Uh, okay. The first three attacks. 10, 21, 10 against Miyoko. I'm going to make disadvantage on one of those. Probably the one that might hit. Yeah. Are you sure you so don't want to do the 10? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what's, uh, what's your AC right now, Miyoko? 21. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll use that and disadvantage on that one. It's going to roll a nat 20. Just watch. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen you do this to Mars before. And the shield hits me in the face. <laughs> okay, give me one second. Founder's being stinky. Pause, champ. 19. Oh, saved. It's the shield of block face. Nice. <laughs> so, okay, the second round against Naru is going to be a crit and a 13. Uh, all right. Came back to you. <laughs> okay. So you're going to take six bludgeoning damage. You'll These never crits, man. <laughs> Unforgivable. <laughs> and last but not least, four attacks against our Lilipa for a six, <laughs> a seven, a 14, and a nat fail. Oh my god. It's the first, like, I've been getting hit every attack. Life is looking good for me. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this, the fish is coming to Kimmy's plate. <laughs> All right, Maris. Um. So, how far? So I'm trying to get down. So I can make this jump. I'm not. And then 
Is this like the same level as them, or is this lower than them? This area they, right here, uh, that one's on the same level. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna jump from this railing onto the mushroom, from the mushroom down. All right. Do an acrobatics. So an acrobatic flare with it. And now we're here is a loud snap behind him. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Almost a 4, I saw that. Okay, yeah, you do that with grace and elegance. Okay. And I'm gonna run over. Next turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop kick the zombie next to him. <laughs> it's an unarmed attack. So I can find it. It moves. I promise you it moves, and I don't understand why. 21 to hit. That hits. Because it's, it's unarmed and not unfooted. It's still moving around. 10. Uh, it's still looking up. Like it's still hanging in there. Uh, so I do like uh, a... Yeah. Okay. And then I do like a roundhouse kick to it. The second attack. 19. And another 10. <laughs> All right, so you you like roundhouse kick its head and it twists over like kind of does a little extra spin and then it falls over and then it gets back up. <laughs> and they get back up. Okay, cool. Yep. And uh, I look over to Anara. Man, this is. I don't think I've had to fight this hard since since the war. Um, and then our fairy blows. Eighteen Ooh. and twenty-one. I do the twenty-one. Let's see if we kill him. Alright. Three? He's still up? Nope, he dead. Blech. Uh, and then with the second one, um, I will go... Oh. I'll, like, just step on his dead body's head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and punch the, uh, the one that's right here, right in front of me again, the second hit. All right, that 18 will go through. So uh, roll to hit, or roll for damage. And that's five. Five bonking. Pfft. You bop him in his non-existent yeah. nose. And I'll look at Anara. Are you all right? He's just going to turn and smile, and you can see a few teeth are missing. And <laughs> he's got some big lumps and bruises and cuts and... He's not looking good. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, my turn. Greater zombie's gonna look over a little pub. Ready to I slam. We get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Gonna attack twice. Twenty-one and a sixteen. The twenty-one hits. He's going to hit you for 12 damage. Is that already halved? No, six. All right. Well done. All right. Next Thank one. Thank you, Kimmy, for that temp HP. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this one comes over to Kimmy. No. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> this one towers over Kimmy. <laughs> You slam. Kimmy uses Dimension Door and gets the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 15. Yep. Okay. For a total of 12 damage. And the second hit comes in. And it's a nat fail. Just falls through. <laughs> knocked over all the boxes <laughs> and barrels. And as all this commotion is happening, the chaos ensuing, the the tide of the battle is turning in favor of our party. But will they succeed? Is there something lurking around the corner? Will that giant wake up from its charm? Find out next time. In Seas of Time! Oh. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you had a great time. 
And we will be back with another stellar episode next Friday. So watch out. Yeah. It's been muted this whole time, and I've been going, <laughs> woohoo, yeah, we. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Fuck that well, giant. Shit. Thank you, Kimmy. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I was ready to take it, but like, also, no. <laughs> Kimmy nerfed the giant and half the zombies and the zombie horde guy for like half the battle. Like, gotta give it to her. God yeah, bless. Seriously. Yeah. Woo. Everybody coming out with clutch plays. Like, you know, we had Sebastian, lasers, you know, Lilliput just tanking all that damage, just going right for the meat, biting ankles, you know, Maris stunning the master lock, and are just like doing the echo ghost things, like, just lovely. And Miyoko. Whipping people, whipping a name name. <laughs> right back into the portals they created. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. I, I love that. Somebody please animate that, please. <laughs> I was like, thank God, because I have no other plans to get through this portal. <laughs> <laughs> Superb job, everybody. And thank you for your watching of our show. We really appreciate you. I hope you had a good time, and uh, we'll see you next week. Stay tuned for more stuff. You know, we got other channels. We got Tuberculosis with Toby here. You know, we got some Joe X stuff. We have Popcorn Junkie. Your hand hands are all off. Oh, sorry. I'm doing Discord overlays, but yeah. <laughs> Just, just come up, come join our Discord. Look at our YouTube's. We got the links in the, in the chat. You know, just come by, say hello. We're, we're not, you know, like desperate or anything. It's just, you know, we just like want to have like fun. Not desperate. No, no, no. It's whatever you want to do. Okay. We'll do <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? My, my cat, I guess. <laughs> it's not doing the thing. Never mind. Damn it. <laughs> no, what's the thing? What's the thing? I'm trying to do a thing, but it's not working. Oh. It's okay. No! Any announcements? Any other announcements? Um, if the thing works, it would be an announcement. Well, I mean, just for popcorn junkies, we do have... Right? Was it the sound of popcorn popping? I know, or like the the really bad version of the Jurassic Park theme. Or like, eh, 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 eh. we can only hope. It won't do the thing, and I'm upset. What are you trying to do? I was trying to do a dinosaur T Rex walking for popcorn junkies. It just wouldn't do the thing. I set up all this this morning, and it won't work now. Down. It won't work now. Here, let's just layer. We have technical difficulties on the rig. <laughs> <laughs> We're not hiring IT though. That's me. I'll do it. Ugh. Just come watch. Come watch uh, the, the. Come watch the dinosaurs do the things and eat the peoples. It's great, and we can make fun of them and see sexy men. Right, 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 guys. Oh yes. Did Jeff Goldblum take off his shirt in Lost World? I mean, in my mind, he does. It's just like, I just have x-ray glasses on. It's always shirtless, mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> and you can check out. out all the lineup on the screen right now for, for the rest of the year. All the movies Yay. we're watching. Yay. Yeah, hotels next month. I love that movie. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.